In this video, you're going to find the best stocks to buy this week. So you got to listen and you got to listen very carefully because uh, you got to write down the levels and the charts I'm going to give you uh, in order to have the most success with what you are going to learn in this video. In case uh, you're wondering why you should listen to me, um, I will show you some of the recent trades, um, some of my recent trades in the last few weeks. Let's start with General Motors. Um, I alerted this trade and entered this trade this week, uh, the week starting mm, October 17. And we are up, let's see, 24% since, since then. Um, another trade I recently did was Ford. We opened this trade based on the three week chart. The, like our original price target is 1574. We entered uh, at this level. I'll show you at what price exactly. I, I like to enter trades on the hourly chart. We entered here on Tuesday, October 25, 10.30 um, a.m. Uh, another recent trade was Roblox. We played Roblox earnings. This trade was this week. Uh, here. We entered at this level when it closed below... Ah, shit. We entered when it closed below 39.55. And let me tell you something. This trade was a pain in the ass because Roblox went against us for a few hours and then the more earnings morning it simply died and we won we got a 23 percent move to the downside of course i always take profits at the price target i don't hold any longer so it was actually 15 percent 16 percent um those are recent trades another one is bad this one this one really pissed me off and what pissed me off about ba is that it kept going after it hit the price target uh the price target was 160 and it, it just kept going up 10 percent more but i'll tell you when we entered i think this trade back was based on the two-week chart yeah so we entered here and this is in this chart is in this um candle as resistance we entered at 133 it went to 160 took two weeks that's a 20 percent move which is crazy uh for short for such a short period of time but yeah those are recent trades i ordered them in real time in this group but you're not here to watch an app you should check it out it's full proof options but let's go and talk about the stocks you should buy this week so the first stock is ford um as i said i got in ford at 1263 it's currently at 14 and 50, but Ford still has to go to 15 and 74. That's my price target. And that's a 8% move from where it's now. So what if, if you want to take this trade, you're going to draw a line here on the last week's high. The last week's high was 14 and 67 and you're gonna see look in this week it couldn't get it 
it went over here and it went down. And this week it was the other way around. It couldn't break. So you can see a lot of touches at this level, which means it's a resistance level. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the one. So you're going to go to the weekly chart. You're going to draw that line. After that, you're going to go to the uh, one hour chart, and you're going to set an alert. If and the one hour chart, Ford closes above fourteen and sixty seven, you're gonna take the trade. You can do calls. You can do calls. You can do stocks. Personally, I like Debbie spreads. Um, I opened one on Friday because the stock was at a support level. I think it was 1331. That was a support level I was watching. And as you can see, uh, here it couldn't break this level and then it was bouncing around it. And on Friday, I opened a spread and look, uh, took one week, 10% on the underlying. My spread is up 60, 60, 66%. If you don't know what a spread is, Google it, uh, watch some YouTube videos. I also have a training on the group I run, I mention, and I trade. I, I show you how to do spreads and which positions to enter. But yeah, this is one of the stocks. Ford, I think Ford will be at 15, 74% within the next few weeks. Uh, next two weeks not few one to two weeks tops um next trade you should check out x is xlk again i'll enter this trade last thursday when it closed in the one hour chart over 129 i am up two percent to almost three percent um from where it's at but i believe this this uh trade is going to 139 so the upside from where it's now it's almost five percent and what i want you to do is the same thing with ford you're gonna go to the weekly chart you're gonna draw a line at the last week's previous candle, uh, last week's high, which is the current candle. You draw a line. If at the one hour chart, it closes above 133, XLK it has a very high probability to run to uh, 139. Now, 4% is not a lot, and that's why we preach using options, but you should learn about options before using them because they are risky if you don't know what you're doing. So you've been warned, that's a 4% move. Uh, yeah, now let's talk about SPY. SPY is, SPY is the in this, the, uh, the market. And I believe SPY is going to 411. Um, the trade I posted, I posted this around two weeks ago on Medium. I published an article and people were laughing at me. I posted it in Reddit. The market is going up. It went down for a few days after uh, Powell spoke, but then Powell spoke again. And now we are um, ripping and it's going to keep on ripping because every country has inflation. Every country has the inflation numbers up, except the United States. So we are going to keep ripping. I am 99% sure SPY will get to 411 within the next two weeks. Um, so yeah, same thing as I showed you with Ford and XLK. I already entered this trade um, on Thursday when I, I close on the one hour chart over my level here, I am up almost 
which is not impressive, but I did a spread. And I am up. Hold on, let me check. I am up 29%. I did a spread from 390 to 395. If it closes above 395, I'd make max max profit, which is I think it's 90% or 80%. I have to like do the math, but yeah, I'm open. I'm I'm green. It's a trade you could have done if you were in the group, but still the market is going to keep going up. So, um, yeah, watch this level, watch the 399, 35 level. If in the one hour chart, it breaks this level, uh, do a spread. Let's say you do maybe 398 to 402. So you get a 50, 50 risk reward ratio. You risk $1 to make $1. And if it closes above 402, you make 100%. So, yeah, that's a great trade to take. You can do normal calls. I just don't like normal calls in the long term because, I don't know, I like playing. I don't like the volatility. That's why I use spreads. And the last stock I want to talk about is the QQQ. 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 So the QQQ is i believe it's going to 311 now where i found this level was on the three week chart this is a hammer this is a very bullish sign right here so i drew a support line a support resistance line here oh i think it was wrong it was at a this this right here could have cost me money i drew the line Oh, incorrectly. But anyways, so it broke this level on Friday. So you can see it confirmed on Friday, first hour. This is where I entered. And it's been, it's up less than 1%. But, but, I believe QQQ within the next two or three weeks it's going to 311 and that's a seven percent move from where it's now um yeah i know you can feel these are random numbers i promise you they are not you can see my tr track record my previous trades you saw them um same thing with Q, with QQQ. Let's draw a line on the previous week's high. And if it closes above 287.96 on the one hour chart, uh, you take the trade. Now, if you're wondering why do you want to take the trade on the previous week's, when it breaks the previous week's high and it closes on the one hour chart, and it's because the previous week's highs and lows um, serve as resistance and support levels. So what I'm saying with this is that if you take the trade right now, the closest support level is 284, right? So it's, this is your downside and but if you wait till it breaks the resistance level, then you have this line right here as your support and your downside is lower and you have all of this upside. You have all of this upside. So the key is keeping the, the risk low, the reward high. Anyways, um, that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, this is not financial advice, okay? This is not financial advice. This is purely for entertainment purposes. But if you decide to trade this, then I hope you make money. This, this is not financial advice, okay? But I hope you make money if you decide to trade this. Um, and yeah, uh, I learned my trades in real time. You saw the track record. 
this is my group there's a free trial there's no risk and we have a 200 percent guarantee if if we lose you money we're gonna if you pay 97 dollars a month we're gonna double that we're gonna give you back 194 if if we suck which of course we don't anyways uh have a nice rest of your day and happy trading